binding energy of a nucleus. Let us say you have a nucleus consisting of number of nucleons. Suppose if you want to break this nucleus into individual nucleons, then some amount of energy is required for that. That energy is known as binding energy. On the other hand, let us say initially all the nucleons are separated, separated by a large distance. Uh, then you are uh, trying to combine them together to form a nucleus. In such case, the same amount of energy released. This energy released in the formation of uh, a nucleus is known as binding energy. Uh, for example, in the earlier case, uh, we have got uh, some mass defect uh, for oxygen nucleus. How this binding energy comes into picture is, when a nucleus is formed, the actual mass of the nucleus is less than its theoretical mass. That is, when you take the sum of uh, individual nucleons, that mass will be large when compared to the actual mass. The difference in this mass is converted into energy according to Einstein's mass energy relation and that energy is known as binding energy. So, you can say that binding energy is equal to mass defect multiplied by c square using E equal to mc square principle. So, we can say that uh, we can write binding energy as delta m which is nothing but uh, mass defect multiplied by c square that is binding energy. That is how binding energy comes into picture in case of a nucleus. For example, in the earlier case, we have calculated mass defect of oxygen nucleus to be delta M mass defect of oxygen nucleus is uh, 0 0.13691 atomic mass unit. And uh, this if you convert into binding energy, see generally one atomic mass unit when converted into energy is about 931 million electron volt. So, if you convert this de mass defect 0 0.13691 into energy that comes out to be 0 0.13691 multiplied by 931 that gives you 127.5 million electron volts. This is what uh, we call binding energy of the oxygen nucleus which is equal to 127.5 million electron volts. How we got that one is we have taken mass defect of the oxygen nucleus multiplied with c square you got the value of that much that is the mass defect in case of uh, that is the binding energy in case of uh, uh, oxygen nucleus.